welcome back everybody to the channel today we are going to be reacting to the friday night funkin degenerates by turkey tom now this video he basically talks about the you know groomers the basically the bad people in the friday night funkin community that has happened basically ever since like the start of the community to basically now in a nutshell he doesn't go all he doesn't go over all of like the people that were bad in the community because unfortunately there, there was a lot but he goes over like the main ones that you probably have remembered but uh y'all will see when you watch today's video now you guys are noticing that the video is not exactly like 45 minutes long because the original video we reacted to is like almost an hour long i'm actually cutting this reaction like by bits by bits because a lot of the time i'm just kind of watching the screen because like a lot of things he talks about in the video i already know what happened i literally seen it happen on twitter when it was like active and i've talked Talked about it on streams a couple times so you know i already knew what was up and you guys have probably heard from me if you are a stream watcher of mine oh and if you want to watch my streams you know hit that subscribe button <laughs> just saying but yeah so i'm basically gonna be showing you guys the best part of my reaction and the part where i literally fell asleep i'm not even trolling i fell asleep during this video goes to show how sick and tired i am with fnf drama it's actually wild but with that being said i hope you guys do enjoy my reaction to you know the best parts that i'm gonna put for you guys and consider hitting that like button thousand likes as always with that being said enjoy let's get While right to it oh gone. sorry Friday a little Night late Funkin is an indie game that exploded in popularity in late 2020 while many projects have gone viral over the years few have reached the same level of phenomenon it's that's true an entire industry of fans I, I do have to say this though i'm already pausing 13 seconds in but i do have to say that friday Funkin's modding community is one of the best modding communities i have ever seen in general like the amount of like work and effort this modding this modding community has done for the game is insane like compared to other like modded uh stuff out there on the internet so definitely the mod community is still amazing regardless of all of its drama and content across social media. This is largely because of its modability, allowing for easy and complete customization. That community has since taken on a life of its own, becoming one of the biggest draws to the game. But that's also where the problems began to arise. When you create true, an easy true, true, path true. to fame in a community of mostly children, it, unfortunately, enables a lot of predatory behavior. And that takes us to the story of Sky. But before oh, I go Sky. any further, this all video right. is sponsored I, by I, Surf I, I know about the ad, I know. 2021, an account called BF's Wife Forever became notorious on TikTok. It was run by a kid who, like many, created animation memes of their OC, Sky. But unlike other fans, they had a deep hatred for one of the game's main characters. Friday Night Funkin' centers around a boyfriend trying to impress his love interest. But as their username implies, the artist had a crush on the protagonist. This resulted in a video where Sky crucifies, tortures, and and kills girlfriend. It quickly went viral as word spread across social media of the laughably bad cartoon. The attention wasn't all mean-spirited though, as others instead found the earnestness endearing. People began drawing fan art, inducting Sky to the growing cast of community-made characters. That sentiment became especially common after mod creator BB Panzu took notice. On April 8th, he published Versus Sky, a fully fleshed out mod based on the TikToks. It features original artwork, music, and even cutscenes. Yeah, I remember the Sky Mod. Sky Mod was interesting. Sky Mod was interesting. Yeah, so like continuing off with like the now the whole Sky drama thing. Like, all right, I, I remember hearing about this like when it happened. I don't think I really said much about it, but I, I actually just I don't really know. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rewatch to like listen to what was the drama about this again because I low key forget because it was like so long ago when this happened. But the weird thing is now if you guys search up Sky, you get tons of like things of like you know tons of different versions of Sky now that has been like a whole thing now. There's like uh sky blue or this guy that sky I, I don't know all of their names but there's multiple versions of the characters and it seems like the character has came back as of recent and everyone is like perfectly fine with it so i'm not so honestly i don't know where sky really lies i guess it got it like died because of the drama and then it got revived later on it's it's like weird while most felt guilty, some took it as an invitation to harass the preteen even further. BF's wife forever was inundated with death threats and smuts until one day they snapped. 
on April 26, a group of but one day they snapped. The Discord, flooding it with <laughs> the way you said that. Art. It had happened before, but this time, the artists decided to fight back with their own collection of gore and porn. That decision was heavily criticized by the community, effectively exposing miners to even worse. Now, getting backlash from both sides, BF's wife forever ended up having a mental breakdown. It's culminated with a stream on TikTok in which they urinated on camera. Upon hearing this, huh? BB Panzu was overcome with guilt. He I don't even know about that. The hell? Game Wait, what? Writing, I ruined their life. He then Wait, I'm sorry. Am I getting this right? They Wait, I'm sorry. They went on TikTok, they streamed, and they pissed on the... What? That... that... Uh, that that that's a force but bf's wife forever quickly confessed to everything they issued a public apology for sending gore promising to never do it again they also admitted to peeing on stream because they thought it was funny following this it became impossible for bf's wife forever to continue in the fandom so okay so she thought it was funny to just piss on stream what yeah okay bro i'm sorry but like some people got some like interesting like reasonings for why to do stuff and some reasonings are just i don't, I don't even know man that that i don't even know what to say in spite of all of this that didn't mean the end for sky as a character in the original mod she alludes to performing a shift to appear in the game many fans decided yeah. to expand on that concept yeah see see this is what i was talking about character. this is what i was this talking about an adult oriented version from 4chan known as sky blue but one rose above the rest for being the canonical continuation of sky before leaving bf's wife forever gave ownership of her to a close friend named kitsune skulls this would be revealed on december 18th when he debuted the new design on twitter it was received very very poorly new mm. sky was criticized for being edgy as well as being made related to random characters in the game. The whole point of the character was a fan so obsessed with boyfriends that they warped reality. Now, Sky hated him and instead That's had a crush on him. Shockingly, the character would once again be put center to yet another controversy surrounding its owner. On May 12th, again? The Wait, what? was exposed in a Google Doc from an anonymous individual. May 12th? They claimed the two had been dating for three years. The accuser was 14 and Kitsune 17 at the time of writing. They allege him to be abusive, often sending photos of their self harm wounds. This apparently what? included one incident where he carved their name on his inner thigh. They refer to him as carved their inner name on their thigh. What? Yo, these type of people, I uh, question like, what do they do? Like, like, what do they do when they go to school? Like, I feel like they'd be the type of people to go to school and like not do any work whatsoever and then be doing all this type of bull crap at home. You know, they go straight home from school doing absolutely nothing, basically fucking all their classes. And then you just have them doing all this shit online. It's like, bro, like, ha like. I don't, I don't even know, man. Jesus. Regardless of what is true or not, because I'm honestly not sure, the narrative in the community was that Kitsune Skulls was some kind of groomer. And so, it wasn't long before they decided to leave the community as well. I'm so tired. I've fallen into a hole of lies and rumors being spread about me, so people can hate me and get a mod canceled that isn't even out yet. I don't know what more you want from me. You know, you know one thing I've noticed with trends whenever people leave the Friday Night Funkin' community, or just in general, they always go to instagram it's so weird right they'll go they'll leave the community from twitter and then they'll start posting like on their stories or start posting on instagram now like they're it's like it's so weird i don't know why it's like a weird trend they like all go to instagram i don't know why but i mean you i guess do you man for me I love Sky. I love the character I have created. I love what BB Panzu is doing with her. I love what people are doing when it comes to headcanons and making their own versions. But at what cost? My mental health has just plummeted ever since. This is hell. I can't take it anymore. Following this. So about this section of the video. So basically in a nutshell, uh, the person that is showing the evidence, uh, Turkey Tom, the evidence they showing is actually, uh, was taking evidence from this Twitter account right here. Uh, FNF News, uh, announcement now. If you guys don't know what this Twitter account is, or if you guys are just not on Twitter, uh, that much, FNF News is basically like 
like the title says, news for Friday Night Funkin, and mainly as of right now, the Friday Night Funkin community, where he'll like and we tweet certain mods that are coming out, maybe talk about mods uh, upcoming. Basically, you're a Friday Night Funkin news channel for the modding and I guess the base game itself. And he had the statement to say about the video. Can't believe this account was featured in that drama video going around. I guess it's a testament for how big this account has gotten and how people see it as a reputable source. But I'll be honest, running this account has become more and more stressful. And the last thing I want is to be involved in drama channels. I would prefer if you were to ask permission. It of course isn't required. It's just if you're profiting over research I did, a simple DM would have been nice. Now with this whole little section right here, obviously he's not happy about his little uh, research being put into the video um, and him making profit it, uh, profit it off it and just in general being on a drama related video and just a channel itself. Now my personal opinion, like, uh, it is, I do think it is polite to ask for like, hey, can I use this evidence in the video? It's just being polite, like, you know, just showing that you generally care. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's like, it, it, it's not, I feel like it's not a necessity, like not necessarily to do so all this, all the time. I mean, like he said himself, it isn't required because this type of thing right here, you know, anyone can find, you know, like that, you know, that, you know, little like evidence that he shows in the video if they do the research too. So it wasn't like his evidence was specifically his, like anyone could have screenshot that at the time and been like, hey, this is my evidence of this. So it's kind of weird that he's like, using this to be like, hey, this was my evidence, you know, uh, when it was clearly posted on Instagram, uh, and clearly, you know, if you were, if you follow that Instagram account of his, you would have seen his story too at the time. So, you know, a little weird, a little weird, but again, you know, nice little, you know, hey, you know, it's okay if I can use this, it's perfectly fine. And then there's a whole little thread afterwards made by Alex, uh, talking about situation two, I'll, I'll read the entire thing for y'all. Okay, I noticed how the Friday Night Funkin' Degenerates video semi-defended Kitsune, and there's a few points I'd like to make relating to this. These specific screenshots happened before the anonymous victim released a doc about what Kitsune's done. I was still friends with, and we continue on, Kitsune around this time, and I can confirm they were made during Nusky's initial announcement, not during what happened on May 13th. He was venting about the community's negativity towards Nusky and how people had been harassing him on other platforms aside for Twitter. As for the screenshot that show who I think is Kitsune talking, under the name The Void System. I can't confirm when they were made because I wasn't there when they were made. That's for the victim to confirm if they even want to. And for this part of the video, I didn't. I'll uh, play the little part that they're referring to. Ship over Sky was never formally transferred. The creator of the Skyverse would end up adopting her. They are now largely recognized as the owner of the character. Ship over Sky was never. And then there's this little clip that they show there. And then you continue on. Just adopt Sky. He gave me full permission to take her if anything ever happened to him. I have the screenshots and I've shown them before. I also have a screenshot of him joking about us both being docs after my address got accidentally leaked to him when we tried. Now this is the little DM here. Uh, we're where they show it. Uh, sharing an account when the doc mentioned he's known to have docs people or at least threatened to do it. Yes, this is the same account as Riley Loves Nick. Uh, that was Kitsune's all when the initials Nusky should happen because he was getting harassed on his main from what I know. Uh, docs of Alex and Riley. Um, while I don't doubt the video did do its research defending Kitsune by saying he was only accused of being uh, the P word because of YouTube uh, demonetization. Uh, when there's thousands of evidence so much that the victim couldn't even collect it all. And not only that he had a court case, what more do you want? Then you can see the FNF News account tweeting now. I hate how this guy took my research and really did his own for this. And what he did, he got massively wrong. Now, again, um, in my personal opinion, like he definitely did do his research. It's not like he just pulled the shit out of his ass out of nowhere and just, you know, edited the video, you know, and just threw it into his editor. Because you could tell. The video was highly edited. You could tell that this video was definitely took a good amount of time to edit. And he's a drama related channel and he's and you can clearly see that he has done his research for the video. I mean, the video is almost an hour long. So saying that he barely did his research because he took a little bit of your evidence to use in his video is kind of weird in my opinion. You even said that yourself, you even said yourself that it isn't required to, you know, ask for permission for evidence when at the time, you know, anyone could have found that evidence and then you could say it's my evidence. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you also got to understand that Turkey Tom, 
uh is is a drama related channel he talks about drama that happens like all over the internet and i, I have never seen this dude ever in the friday night funky community or make any sort of fnf content until literally today so i don't blame him for you know having a little bit of miscommunication or a little misunderstanding because again the drama that he is talking about is from a very long time ago it's like like i literally remember the drama like over a year ago when this happened so th it, it, it also was a while ago so you gotta understand that you know he's gonna be wrong so i don't think we should be you know hating or dissing on him because you know he was a you know he was he misinterpreted you know everyone makes mistakes here so uh, honestly with that type and but i know i can understand that you know he is showing this video to tons of people he's a big channel the video i think as of right now as i'm recording this almost has half a million views so i guess understand how that is still you know annoying that he misinterpreted and now people are going to think of it differently so you know that um, that's unfortunately what the reality of it is you gotta you know but at the same time you know again the drama that he's talking about has already been dealt with has been already settled with so it's not like that big of a deal but you know again you know when you make these type of videos it's always nice to be you know generally correct about your situation but that's just how i feel i mean hey i don't even know who kitsune was and let alone i still don't really to this day i literally uh only heard about his name until i watched his video and you know the whole drama again was a very long time ago so i do not recall everything myself so that's all i'm gonna say i'm just a messenger for you guys so you guys can know more information about this but with that being said let's get back to the reaction video is this the dude with the suicide mode? Friday Night Funkin' mods aren't limited to original creations. In fact, most reference pre-existing characters and ideas. This yeah. can range from gaming mascots to more niche internet genres like creepypasta. That Sonic takes us exe. to May May's that's, a, that's like a main one you think of. 2021, he tried to make a name for himself in the FNF community. He started out with mashups of pre-existing songs to moderate success. But the real recognition came after he began making mods. His first featured the original characters, Kai and Korra. Kai was a self-insert, something that'll become apparent later. It was released as a demo in June to promote a fundraiser. He claims to have hired two voice actors who were in a pretty bad situation and needed help to survive. If we can raise $2,000, the Kai mod will have animated cutscenes with voice actors. To this day, the GoFundMe sits at exactly $0. Yeah, Shortly after, enough. he released his second mod based on Dr. Robotnik, Robotnik, but it wasn't until his third that he gained some notoriety that's halloween he released sunday night suicide yep. a mod based yep, on i was correct i was suicide correct mouse. but a sentiment that'll be very recurrent in this video is not everyone is necessarily equipped to deal with an audience and that became apparent as the maze became more outspoken on several occasions yeah a lot of people on the internet you know a lot of people like want to be popular or things like that want to have like million subscribers or things like that but at the same time, some people don't really know how to handle having an audience. You know, they, they, they let the ego get to them. That's why you see a lot of YouTubers out there, like, end up turning into, like, this greedy, like, cocky person because they let the ego get their head. Like, you know what? I have a million subscribers. I'm on top of the world, you know? Like, I know it's a good feeling, you know, to accomplish big things like that and be well-known. But at the same time, bro, you got to also understand that what I think people also forget uh when they get their egos boost like that is like it was the viewers that got you there you know that's why every time you guys always support the channel or every time we hit a milestone you guys are the reason we get there you know i wouldn't be at a hundred thousand subscribers if it wasn't for you guys so you know they forget that so there's a lot of it's been shown multiple times that popularity can get to people and they end up doing you know things that leads them to you know you know, fall off, I guess you could say. NSFW warning. So I posted this on TikTok out of curiosity to I see, did not need to see that again. Material. It was just That's a crazy. red flag. He'd proven himself untrustworthy and willing to lie maliciously. With so much negative attention, Maze attempted to win back the public using his most popular mod. A week after the haters incident, he added a new phase called Really Happy, but this too backfired. Maze had the screen shake rapidly at certain intervals with no seizure warning. That supposedly led one individual to be nearly hospitalized. Upon oh, I remember that. Apologizing, he replied, I wish I never joined this ducking fandom. His complete lack. I remember that, dude. Okay, so I actually played the mod 
or like at least that update when it came out because it was during halloween i believe when it came out along with Sai like hypnos lullaby for the very first time and i believe when i played it i was like why is the screen so shaky like there's mods where the screen shakes a lot right but the screw but in that song like and when it came out the screen was going like real crazy like i couldn't even read the notes it was impossible i was literally just guessing like where the notes were but obviously you know i'm perfectly fine because i don't you know I, I don't get like any of that or i don't get like a seizure but like man bro that was like crazy how like over dramatic he made the shake of the screen it was like insane like i remember playing it not seeming to understand and what epilepsy was. For the people complaining about the screen shaking, making them uncomfortable, that's the point. I have no intention to That's the point. Anything, but this the guy. The screen As a well, result, that's the fastest the way to get, like, roasted and everything. Left that day, a document was published on Twitter. I remember looking at this document, uh, like, a little bit. I remember this. Long. His attempt to make the fandom more kink-friendly. It also contains- Oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember when he said that. He said, make this community more kink friendly. Oh my gosh, dude. I remember hearing that for the very first time. And I was like, you can't be serious. You you just, you can't be serious. He did not just say that. Like, he, there's no way he just said that to himself. Was like, yeah, that sounds, uh, that sounds smart. Like, there's just no way. There's just no way. His first mistake was when he uploaded a video version of his response. The thumbnail to it is just insane. I don't know why he did this. Yeah, but I mean, more <laughs> on January 19th, I, I remember when Toastify even said something that about that too. Video about the situation. He points out that Maze has a history of lying. Well, I watched this dude's video on a stream before. My point here is that Maze will always go to something as a mistake or a slip up to address things. In response, Maze left a comment affirming Yeah, I watched Toastify's video on this on grueling. stream before. He claimed it. To this day, his whereabouts are unknown. It appears he's still active as leaks have surfaced on 4chan of previously unseen- 4chan, 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 4chan. Where else, man? Where else? Come on. Creations. That includes another creepypasta-based mod. Other posters uncovered an alt account of his under the name Walter Universe, but it's since been deleted. The most recent leak occurred on November 2nd. An anonymous user posted his personal information as well as pictures of his genitals. In response, another claimed to report him to the police, though there's no evidence this actually happened. Of course, mm. that didn't stop rumors from spreading, to the point that many now believe he's in prison. For better or for worse, as of the time of writing this, it is not the case. The V Tan incident. Dachi, also known as Lara, is a I don't know about this. who rose to prominence in 2021. Her first public video is a mod for Among Us, though her content covers a variety of different fandoms. That includes Sonic, Five Nights at Freddy's, and of course, Friday Night Funkin'. I have she never seen this channel before. For that Lara was dating a 13 year old boy. For reference, she was 18. This led to a confrontation in her Discord server where she confirmed it was true. Quite your bullshit kodo and realize you're dating a child so what lara so what nah like so what what do you mean so what it's a crime like what the, it's a tempted to defend herself by stating it was completely non-sexual there's no defending here there's no defending you outright admit it that you're dating a 13 year old and you're 18. There's just no way, bro. You're literally dating a middle schooler, bro. That should sound eerily familiar because not only had Lara lied about being unaware, it wasn't a mistake, but a pattern of behavior. One that is- So this happened multiple times. Her content's appeal to children. Many began to fear that instead of understanding what she did wrong, she simply learned not to talk about it. Not helping that idea is the fact that upon returning, she kept defending herself. You're still in contact with minors. I haven't committed any crimes. I don't need to cut myself off from the world. And I was very wrong for people to make me believe that I did need to. And that is where the story, unfortunately, ends. For the time being, it seems she'll only grow more popular despite widespread protest, continuing to make viral videos and grow her audience. Because of this, it's truly uncertain what the future holds for Mirth.
Amor Ultra is an Indonesian YouTuber who first joined the site in 2013. He didn't upload until three years later, making animated short films and let's plays of Geometry Dash. They often featured his characters Bob and Bosip who served as the channel's mascots. While getting some success over the years, by the end of 2019, he was stuck hovering around 5,000 subs. Because of this, he decided to take a break and completely rethink his content. Amor returned in March of 2020 with a total overhaul, including new designs for his characters. This second effort was kickstarted. Alright, I, I like... Alright, I Loki just fell asleep. What the fuck? While I've covered many communities on this channel, Friday Night Funkin' is unique in one specific regard. Most of the largest creators are quite young, including the degenerates discussed before. Once again, I have to attribute this to how easy it is for anyone to make their own mods. It creates a simple path to fame that can propel even children to the very forefront. That can be an admirable thing, or as this video shows, a mistake. Because a lot of people have no idea how to handle the responsibilities of being popular. So many of these cases True. happened within months or weeks weeks True. of them attaining success. That's almost unimaginable for most fandoms, yet in this community it's commonplace. And to put it all into perspective, the games only existed for two years. Every single controversy or fallen star has occurred within that short time span. At a certain point, one has to ask themselves if it's even sustainable. It's a community built off modding a game that isn't complete and hasn't received an update in a year. If it does yeah. teeter off, who knows if we'll ever see anything. Hopefully like we'll get an update but next year. how many people have slipped and fallen in that environment, maybe we shouldn't. I've been Turkey Tom, thanks for watching, and until next time, leave me alone. That's a that's an interesting that's an interesting little outro. Leave me alone. I will. You got it. You got it. All right. So with that being said, now I skipped a little bit of the ending of his video because it went into like some other topics that I've already talked about on you know on the channel on or mainly just on streams and the things that and even the things that I did you know show you guys my reaction to. I generally still knew about the situation. There were some extra things that I didn't know of, which was just like, wow, that's actually crazy that there is still more to the entire story than I thought. But that was basically my reaction to that video. But with that being said, yeah, man, I, you know, as someone in the Friday Night Funkin' community, man, th there's so much things that happen. Uh, it still is happening to this day, unfortunately. You know, I know not every community is perfect, but, you know, hopefully in the future we can just, you know, learn from our mistakes or, and, you know, just, just learn. You know, we learn, we keep moving forward, and we don't make the same mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And as a person that has a platform, I will try my very best to, you know, help the community as much as I can in positive ways. Um, that's why whenever, the, you know, drama happen with the community, I always try to be there to talk to people if they need it. Because, you know, I know people can be affected by this type of stuff. Since a lot of things that happen are, it's, it's serious and can be mentally draining. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my little reaction reaction to today's video i didn't finish the entire thing because one like i said i already know about the other things they were going to talk about and like basically the entire situation and two i was low-key like falling asleep i was actually like dead ass falling asleep so i i think i was like you know what i i think i think i'm gonna see what else is in this video and then call it a day but again uh hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys next time with a video that isn't uh, I guess drama related, I guess you could say, but expect the next video to be a really fun one. Deuces.